That's right. And Tom, just about a half hour ago, it was empty in the quarter about a half hour ago, but now people are starting to come back out. But Archbishop Amon says he has no plans to cancel Holy Thursday Mass. It's going to happen right here at St. Louis Cathedral at 7 o'clock. But he says if there are any parishes that do have high waters or any problems, a priest is, um, you know, he can cancel a Mass if he feels it'll be a danger to his parishioners. Now, earlier today, the Archbishop carried out a relatively new Holy Thursday tradition at Orleans Parish Prison. It was a ceremony that brought tears to the eyes of some of the inmates. Archbishop Gregory Amon celebrated Mass inside of Orleans Parish Prison. And then in keeping with what Jesus did for his disciples on the night of the Last Supper, he kneeled before the men and women inmates and washed their feet. I think it's important that we don't forget the prisoners. And um, Jesus certainly washed the feet of people of his own time. And it just seems to me that this is an, uh, a good opportunity to remind them that as we talk about the sufferings and death of Jesus, we're aware of them being out of sight but not out of mind. The Archbishop told the inmates that Jesus washed the feet of Judas, who was his betrayer, and Peter, who denied him. And that is a symbol of forgiveness and a reminder that Christians are called to serve others. It's humbling for me to do it. I think they feel a sense of humility, but I, I truly see as I'm doing it, and I look up, I really do see the face of Christ. The men and women earn the privilege of being at this special service for good behavior. It's the third year for the special mass. The Archbishop is a man of great spiritual healing, and I think he touched him. I think he. He related a story today to them about how uh, Jesus helped other people. So how can you not be touched by that? And as you mentioned, even though this is not a holy day of obligation, if you still want to go to Mass but can't get out because of the weather, the Archbishop says you can watch on WLAE TV or go to NOLA Catholic. Uh, org. It'll be live streamed. Reporting live from Jackson Square, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.